trap. Take me off the mark. Take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's a coming rescue. Hey guys, welcome to day two of my solo trip to Miami. If you're new to my channel, hey. If you guys are returning, thank you for watching. So this is part two of my solo trip to Miami. A little R&R &R from my first semester of medical school. And it's Tuesday morning and I decided to go by the Brickle Village shops. I think that's what it was called. And I really wanted to try this place called the Salty Donut. And I love, once again, my hotel that I stayed at because this was not even a two-minute walk away. Good morning from Miami. Why is my hair doing this? Why don't you like me? Ignore the mess of my hotel room in the back. But it is 11.29 and you guys just saw I got some food. It's called the Salty Donut. And I got a cold brew, vanilla. We're gonna try, I got a honey bun donut. It, a honey bun donut just sounded like that was it. Like, game over kind of thing. Let me get a nice little picture. The plan today is to go to Nikki Beach. This coffee is actually pretty good. And the weather is a little warmer today than it was yesterday, so I think it's gonna be good. Ooh, this is the, they didn't give me any napkins. This is the cinnamon honey bun one. Yum, yum. I was so tired last night. I don't even think I talked about my food last night. The sushi place. Mmm. Mmm. The only con is is they didn't warm it up. If they had warmed it up, it would have been like the best cinnamon roll ever. You know, when you like eat too fast and it just doesn't sit right going down. No, the food at the sushi place, it was okay. I just got full really quick and I didn't want to like just stay there and keep ordering food. Mmm. They have like cinnamon in the middle. I think that like that was really the only thing. I do think it was worth the money though because I got to try a lot of stuff for only $35. This is the brown sugar something batter donut mm. wait this is good this is good i think the first sushi roll that i tried was like the best by the time i got to the lobster roll i was really full plus i don't like my sushi with top with a lot of sauces i, I don't really like that and the lobster roll had like hella sauce on it No, that's good. And it's sprinkled with sea salt to like balance out all the fake flavors. What else? The dragon roll kind of tasted, kind of tasted weird. Like I couldn't really decide if I liked it or I, if I didn't like it, it tasted kind of weird. And the fried oysters, I felt like they were a little undercooked. And I don't know. And the fried oysters, it, the outside was okay, but the inside was like a little too gooey. That's why I think it was a little undercooked. I didn't really like the bacon ribs. It was an okay dinner. If I felt like staying there longer, like I was just really tired. I had such good sleep. However, I had sleep paralysis last night too. And that's just kind of rude because why did I get that on vacation? Like, luckily I had the lights on and I think my TV was playing. So I wasn't like freaking out, but sleep paralysis, it just sucked. So if you ever go to the salty donut, I recommend you get one donut unless I'm just eating habits like my stomach is getting smaller because I'm already full. So Mickey Beach, been debating if I want a day bed or like an entire or just like a lounger. The only thing is is that the day bed, there's a $50 minimum spend and the lounger is only $25. So it's like I can just get food if I'm hungry, but I just feel like I'm going to be hungry. And I'm sure the food there is going to be really expensive. So it's like, why not just get the day bed? But then I feel like it might be a waste because I'm not going to be there that long. Like, I only want to be there until 3.30 o'clock because I need to come back and get ready because I want to go to a happy hour. Um, 
so it's like what do i do what do i do um that's the only thing i kind of am leaning towards the day bed though okay so i changed it's not focusing focus focus on me is she getting there this is the fit this is just a cover up got my bikini on i'm leaving a lot later than i wanted to i was waiting for a fresh set of towels and it never came but luckily somebody was cleaning across the hall so i just asked for one but yeah i'm gonna order the uber and we're gonna head to the beach so what really surprised me about miami you guys were the uber prices the uber and the lyft prices it was surprisingly cheap and i think for me it's because i stayed in a really nice area um that was really central to a lot of places so a lot of my ubers were like four or five dollars i think the max that i spent was twenty dollars going to the airport but i think this uber to south beach was about 15 14 dollars something like that nikki beach is located in south beach and i believe it's like a a beach club as well in a lounge area and this was just the perfect way for me to rest and just enjoy my day i was by the ocean i ended up getting a um day lounge a two seat day lounge as well and it was warm outside the food was great i got the saint tropez sushi roll and i would have never thought mangoes in my sushi would be good but y'all it was so good i'm gonna think about that for a while and I just sat out there, listened to music, tanned, ate, got in the water, and I really just enjoyed my time being in like this new environment, this new space just by myself. And I love the beach, I love to tan. So I left around three, three o'clock, I think, and I took a nice little nap. And I think that was Star Island. I was really hoping I could see Lisa from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but yeah i i love miami and i think i'm definitely going to make nikki beach a one-year thing so afterwards i took a quick nap and i went to go visit the rosa sky bar lounge and this was also located in brickle and it was okay it was really crowded i really wasn't expecting that but the drinks were only ten dollars and i got their um signature cocktail okay so rosa sky it was just and I'm gonna get some tacos now because I'm hungry and I want a margarita instead of that. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is where it went kind of downhill, but I decided to go to this place called Talkin' Tacos. It was literally right across from the Rosa Sky rooftop, and I was like, okay, it's a sign. I saw it on TikTok and it had good reviews on Yelp. So I got some guac and um, Bria tacos. And you guys, these were probably like the worst tacos of my life. Athens, Georgia has better tacos than that okay so after that i was really disappointed they didn't have any drinks so i just went to my hotel room and then i had to pack because my flight was at 6 a.m the next morning hope you guys enjoyed this solo trip vlog yeah. 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 Yeah.